On this episode, Sales Bitch. Hey everybody, this is the quarter show again, and uh, we're gonna be talking about the uh, sales binge here. Um, it's something that we talk about internally, kind of a culture thing, but you know, whenever we found you know the sales go down or something like that, and we've um, you you experience a dip or you experience some some level of contraction, and you need to absolutely sort of step up the numbers and really step up what you're doing to overcome that and sort of get past the inertia and get things, get things, get the motion going and get the momentum going. Um, you know, uh, I used to fly from, from San Jose up to, up to our Seattle, uh, office and, and team and, and a lot of our people are in, uh, in the Seattle area. And so we would, we would do what we call sales pitch and I would, you know, round up our sales team and get everybody in the office at the same time. And, uh, and essentially just go full out, do nothing else. No other, you know, things, no other fish to fry type thing. Essentially, in all hands, people, you know, battle plan it out, making the, making the lineups, going through, getting everybody organized, listing out the cycles that they have, and literally just getting everybody on the phone, hitting the phones hard. You have people walking around on the phone, people on the phone or on their headset or whatever on the phone, walking around. I've got the sales team just basically going through the lineup, making phone calls, getting the emails, some email here and there, but mostly people are just hammering the phone and sort of getting cycles going and creating that commotion and we would do like this five day sales pitch. I'd fly up to Seattle and uh, I'd fly, I'd fly up to Seattle and then we and we just, we'd have a whole team including sales admins for like five days straight and, and we wouldn't do anything else other than just huge abundant amount of action and calls and Ben knows this of, you know, we did this uh, for, for years we've done this and we used to, we used to and do call it a sales pitch. Mm -hmm. and, and this isn't just, this isn't just like yeah. boiler room pressure cooker. No, I, no, I've, no, I've heard about yeah. this. I'm, this is the only sales job I've ever had. Yeah. And so I've heard of this other kind, I've seen movies, but I've heard of this other, it actually exists where it's like super intense, like produce or it's your behind sort of type pressure cooker, you know, boiler room type atmosphere. Yeah. And this isn't like that. No. This is the kind of binge no, no, where no. it's like, Let's coordinate. Like, like, do you have any good ideas? You know, this is where this prospect oh, it's is fun. at. Yeah, it's like, yeah. it's like, let's let's solve these problems yeah. together and work them out and just work real fast and like be on the phones and it's super exciting and it's super productive. Yeah, that, that, that's that's the thing about it. It's like it's fun. It's fun and exciting. There's a huge level of production and and, and action happening. It's not like pressure, like 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 Ben said. It's not it's not a boiler room type of thing where you're. Just, pressuring everybody to get on the phone and just make phone calls. It's not like that. You know, a sales binge, it gets everybody sort of all hands on deck, gets everybody, uh, you know, really into the right action band, if you will, and, 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 and creating sufficient commotion to make things happen. And, and sometimes in your company, you know, when, when, when you have a little dip or you need to hit a quarterly number or you're trying to drive, drive a yearly number or, or whatever, you know, you need to, you need to get over the, the slowness or the inertia that's happening, you know, do a sales pitch. Round everybody up. Get everybody on the mm -hmm. team. Round them all up. Let them know it's a sales pitch. And if your people aren't used to this kind of thing, that's okay. Look, this is a cultural yeah. point for Richter. Sure. That, that we're, we're trying to put out there and go, look, try this because it's, look, it's worked. It's fun. And so, like, you might have people and they might work remotely. Who cares? Get a Skype sure. party together. Whatever. Get get the guys and gals well, together. Well, round up. Get everybody yeah. on the phone. Get everybody together and say, list out. Say, okay. Okay, you know, Tommy, how, what cycles do you have? You go through, you go, okay, this cycle, this Where cycle, this cycle, What's this happening? cycle, this cycle. Okay, I'm good. I, I, can, I can get about, you know, X, Y, Z dollar mm -hmm. figure. Okay, you, 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 you. You list it out in a master document. Everybody goes through. They have their master lineup. They have their lineup that they're working on for that week. We literally, like, we'll carry around a, a legal pad. Everybody lists everything they, they've got for the legal pad, and they just get on the phone, do the emails, and we just collectively as a team. It's not. It's no longer just about the one person. We collectively on a team as a team go into sort of, sales binge mode, yeah. right? And you have to keep the intensity and the, and, and not the intensity like intensity, but you have to keep, you have to keep the, the whole action level very high. This is not a meeting where we sit around and, okay, so I probably have to call yeah, it's not, it's follow not, up. It's not conservative. No, it's, it's not, not reserved. It's like winning a championship, you know? You're in the, you're, you're, you're in the playoffs. Yeah, exactly. You're in the playoffs. 
Exactly. And and you know we look at it that way. It's like here in the playoffs, and it's like we keep it fun. You have games. We have yeah. games usually at the end of the yeah. week, right? Some some shiny object. Somebody wins an iPhone or something yeah. like this. You know, you I, hit, I won my iPhone five. Yeah, you won your iPhone five. Right. We play right. a game. Somebody wins an iPhone, or mm -hmm. you win an iPad or something like that at the end of the game. But but and it's, this, here's, it's, here's the thing to consider on this. Now it comes from the top. So if you are a sales manager or you are a VP or wherever you are coming from, it, it, like if you're one of the people at the top and over the area. You have to create, like Robert brings it to the table. It is a cultural point. Yeah. Because if you have people who are, who are very reserved and cannot buy into that right. culture, then it's going to be a challenge. So you have to bring it to the table and say, this is how we are going to be while we're doing this. And you yeah. have to demand and insist that like this is the action level. Nobody gets to be backed off. Nobody gets to be separate and apart. Be, yeah, there's there's no conservatism there. People can't just be like, oh, you know what? I don't know. I'm just going to do this. Everybody's got to be involved. You have to have that sort of group com camaraderie, and everybody's got to be like charging after a given target. So you're like, here's the target for this week. You know, we're going after whatever whatever that number is for you, whatever however it works for you. But you, it's a big lofty target. It's a big hairy audacious goal, as Jim Collins would say. And and we're all going after it. We have a shiny object at the end that we're playing for. We're all driven by the purpose, and we have fun with it. And it just drives the action level yeah. up to, you know, up to what where would a, a a band that would be much higher than what your normal off base is. Yeah. And and so you, when you do the sales binge, often it's like if people are normally operating at an at a, a seven or an eight on a, on a scale of ten, we're talking about something that takes it to a twelve or fifteen. Yeah, exactly. And you this know? is not this is not a numbers game sales binge. No, we don't no, believe no. in that stuff. No, no. It's, it's a bunch of maybe maybe it works for you. It definitely doesn't work for us. Yeah. It's not that. It is a problem solving workout, high fast pace. Let's every go. Every single cycle. Yeah. Exactly. Every single cycle. Let's work it out and get it done. Not yeah. like how many phone calls can we make in an hour. That's no, not no, what no, the sales no. binge is so about. Done. 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 Deal yeah. done. Deal done. Deal Put done. Put it on the board. Done. Bring the now, let's and go. And, and it's know? a team thing, right? It's not yeah. just about you individually, mm -hmm. like, oh, I'm just, you know, a salesperson trying to handle something. It's like everybody on the team is working to solve every deal that we've listed out in order to hit the group target. Yeah. And that's really what the sales binge is. So hopefully that communicates, but that that's that's uh, it's a very effective tool if sometimes numbers are slow, sometimes you have a, a lofty target you have to hit, sometimes you have uh, something coming up or whatever. Look, heck, if our numbers were down sometimes, if our numbers were down, I just jump on a plane, I flew up to Seattle, uh, you know, and you know, I would just, I would just, on, it, on it. it, unannounced, we would just crush it. You know, we'd have, we'd have a week where we do the sales binge, and it would just be like I was there, spent the whole week, we do it together, get the whole team figure it. And you know what? The clients benefit. Sometimes we have some kind of incentive. The clients love it. The customers love it. Um, it's good for them. Everybody wins. You know, it's good for the customer. They're getting the product that they should get that you that you, that you sell. Um, you're doing huge numbers, and and the morale, the morale yeah. of the group just goes through the roof. Yeah. You know, and uh, it it goes way 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 up. You know, and and, uh, it's, and it's a lot of fun, and it culturally it builds internally in the company, and then you have that sort of uh, enhanced work ethic and yeah. that enhanced um, level of, of speed that you operate on. Exactly. Yeah. So anyway, that's the thought for you. Look at doing a sales binge, and uh, you know, consider doing something internally. Look, if you have any questions, by the way, on anything that we ever say on this show, ask in the comments. Um, you can go to Twitter and, and and go hashtag the quarter or at the quarter show on Twitter. And, and look, ask away. If there's something that we say and you want clarity to what we're, what we're saying here. Yeah, we've started to get a couple a couple of people we're getting, asking yeah. in on stuff. We're going to bring it up in some questions. shows. Yeah. It's going to be super, super cool. One yeah. guy's like, I need to explode this coming quarter. And it's like, yeah. we're with you. We're going to talk to you about it. We're going to talk it's about coming. that. We're going to talk about how to explode. We're going to talk about different yeah. things like that. Ask questions and, uh, and, and we'll get those answers out to you um, either, either via Twitter or comments or literally just through the show. Yep. Okay. Um, Thanks for watching, hashtag the quarter, and, uh, and follow us on Twitter. Make sure to subscribe and hit the like button on the uh, things. We'll have more coming at you.